easy steps on, cutting or catalytic converter, will removing catalytic converter harm engine? Hi, welcome to my channel. Are you looking for a guide to removing or gutting your catalytic converter? Then this video will show you how to remove your catalytic converter. The pros and cons of removing a catalytic converter? Will removing catalytic converter harm engine? Catalytic converters are present in cars to reduce harmful and environmentally damaging emissions from the car's exhaust system. Carbon monoxide is the primary pollutant. It is reduced to a minimum level by the catalytic converter, with little or no effect on the environment. Many states in the US conduct a yearly emissions inspection on vehicles to ensure that the catalytic converter in them are working properly. I will link in the description box, my guide on various ways of fixing catalytic converter. With those in mind, let's get started by looking at the pros and cons of removing a catalytic converter. But, before I get into it all, if you have followed through to this point, please, take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And also, do not forget to like and share this video to support me, it helps me a lot. Thank you. Benefits slash cons of removing a catalytic converter. 1. Increase horsepower. People choose to get rid of a catalytic converter for added horsepower. In order to process all the ignition residuals, and to make sure that no harmful pollutants are released into the environment, catalytic converters create back pressure which reduces engine power. The engine can burn hydrocarbons to increase its power output significantly, as it is less dependent on oxygen. This is especially true for older vehicles, where the catalytic converters were not designed to take into account various performance measurements. 2. You will get less heat from the engine. The engine will also be less laden due to the removal of the catalytic converter. This results in lower operating temperatures which then reduces the engine's workload and heat. The engine is much more efficient and lighter when it's hot. Let's now look at the pros and cons of removing the catalytic converter. Disadvantages of removing the catalytic converter These are the cons of removing catalytic converter. 1. Frequent stalling and braking of the car. You will see a variety of cues that indicate a damaged or missing catalytic converter. Without a converter, the vehicle's fuel economy will drop quicker and you will experience a decrease in power. If the converter is plugged, it can cause excessive pressure and cause stalling. 2. Not environment friendly. It is our moral responsibility as humans and inhabitants of the planet Earth to protect and care for the land we call home. The environment is not worth a little boost, or even a small amount of extra gas mileage. It's also not worth the additional noise from the exhaust. It is now considered unethical to remove the catalytic converter from a car, especially in these times of environmental concern. Uncontrolled pollution by an engine is the greatest drawback when removing a catalytic converter. 3. Damage other parts. The removal of the converter can also cause damage to other parts of your car like the oxygen sensor, which works in alongside with the catalytic converter. The check engine light may turn on which could cause your vehicle to fail an emission test, as I mentioned earlier. 4. Raspier exhaust noise. A loud engine is a must-have for anyone. It is a loud engine that I cannot say if it is the most pleasant, but it has a raw feeling like no other. This sound is loved by both casual drivers and serious motorheads alike. Some patrol heads even love to modify the exhaust to make it heavier and more powerful. If one loves the loud, uninhibited engine sound, the muffled mumble might be a bit annoying. 5. Failure in passing an emissions test. Take for instance, to renew the PUC certificate in most country like US, you must pass an emissions test once every six months to one year. To renew your pollution license, you must meet certain emission standards. 
Catalytic converter is one main emission control device in your car that helps keep emissions under control. You will likely get higher than usual results if you forego or remove the catalytic converter during your next emissions test. Failing the test could also mean that you drive without a PUC certificate, which can be illegal in certain states. 6. Noise and Muffled Exhaust Exhaust noises, as we have already mentioned, can sometimes be too significant for some people. In these cases, gutting or removing a catalytic converter can prove to be a nuisance. This is true noise pollution. Will removing catalytic converter harm engine? Is it possible to harm the engine by removing the catalytic converter? My answer to this question is no. The removal of your car's catalytic converter will not cause damage to your vehicle's engine. In fact, it will increase your car's performance by having less work. If your state requires them, however, removing the catalytic converter will make your car not comply with emissions tests. Only high mileage cars may be able to benefit from having their converters removed. Easy step on removing or gutting your catalytic converter. It is easiest and most cost effective to get rid of the catalyst by removing it from your converter. You can lift the car or place it on stands, or any other means to reach underneath the converter. You should remove your catalytic converter after it has been removed from the vehicle for several hours. Exhaust piping can be very hot so make sure you do this right away. The heat can cause the metal, expand making it harder to remove. The inside of the converter will look like honeycombs once it's removed. Although it is hard to remove, you can use a crowbar and a tool like a chisel or a hammer to break it apart. It might take a while to get rid of all the honeycomb, you can use a drill with an extended bit to begin weakening the structure. After removing all the catalyst, you can replace the converter shell. This is not the best way to go. The catalyst can be removed from your car, making it illegal to drive on the streets. Additionally, the converter's empty shell is much wider than the rest. This can cause velocity problems and inconsistency as well as pressure changes, which can negatively impact your car's performance rather than improve it. This is where I will end it for this video. You can look up the full detailed article I wrote on this topic at autovfix.com. I hope you enjoy this video, if you do, please, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And also like, and share this video to support me. I will see you in my next video.